in this lecture we will be looking at histogram how do we draw histogram for our data set which was nyc flights 13 and in that we had one column which was having distances each time a flight travels from a point a to point b how much distance this flight has traveled how far flights are traveling one thing which we need to remember is that in this particular session we have already done this which is attaching the library nyc flights 13 to this session and we have attached this particular data set which is flight so this is something which we have already done but let me redo that why i am saying that is because now after doing these two things you can straight away refer to the column name so you can directly reference the term distance and you draw a histogram for that so let me clean this session because this was already done so that's the reason this was this is giving all this information now if i draw a histogram and the command for that is h i s t that's a simple histogram of distance that's easy you just need to tell the name you just need to tell the column name because we have already imported that library in this session and we have already attached that data set to this session so with this if i just press on this that's it i don't need to do anything and i have histogram ready here so if i just zoom into this this is the histogram which tells that how these flights are traveling so i can look at this and say that most of these flights are traveling around 1000 kilometers and here i have 50000 maybe 60000 flights in this particular data data are traveling around let's say 1000 kilometers and then there's another peak here which is somewhere around 2500 so there are large number of flights which are traveling 2500 kilometers as well and then there are exceptionally few flights which are traveling around 5000 kilometers so this gives me a quick histogram of the data in regards to the distance so in histogram what you have in x axis is the parameter which you are looking at so here the parameter i'm looking at is the distance so on x axis i have the distance and on y axis i have the frequency and that's how you draw the histogram now if you want to change these number of bars here so how many bars i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and few gaps here maybe this total number of bars here would be uh, let's say 20 20 21 bars here so let's say if i want to just make 10 bars here that i can do let me close this that i can do with this particular command which is number of breaks so if i want to put number of breaks as 10 so i can put that hist distance comma breaks is equal to 10 so here with this i get the wider bars here so with this if i press enter i will get these bars which are 10 in numbers and which are much wider so if you want to change these number of bars from the default value you can change that using this particular parameter which is breaks so this was histogram in histogram also just like we did earlier if you want to look for the specific particular carrier and you want to filter that you can do that as well so let's say histogram i want to draw the histogram of distance and in distance in the square bracket where carrier equal to equal to ua so united airways with this if i press enter i get this histogram for united airways only and same thing if i want to do american airways aa so instead of ua i can put aa and you will see the difference here difference here will be this 5000 aa will not have this particular bar in the histogram with this if i press enter i get the histogram for aa so here instead of uh, uaa was traveling up to 5000 kilometers aa is traveling only up to 2500 kilometers so this gives me a histogram of aa so now we have talked about scatter plot we have talked about time series and we have talked about histogram one thing remaining here is the box plot this is another important plot let's learn about that in next few lectures that will be the box plot